Let me show you an effect that I saw on two different websites, which I thought was very cool. I'm going to show you how to do it on Go High Level. I kind of saw this effect on this website right here. As I scroll down, the website looks nice, looks beautiful. But then here you see that the section changes color and the website looks kind of like a dark mode. When I first saw this, I thought this was very eye catchy. It was great web design and I wanted to implement this myself on Go High Level. Before we get started, my name is Rico and I run a Go High Level web design agency. I help businesses and agencies that run on high level get better websites that get them more clients. But with that, let's jump into my computer and I'll show you how you can do this effect as well. Let me show you the websites that I drew inspiration from. So the first website is this one right here and it's Lemon Squeezy. They're like a payment processor similar to Stripe. You see the website here is very beautiful, but as I scroll down here, the section changes color very quickly. This looks very nice, very high end, and it's like a lights out effect. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do on Go High Level to make sure that your website stands out. You focus the attention of the prospect to that specific section. So let me show you a different website where I saw this effect. This is Grow Muro or Grow Moto. I don't know how to uh, pronounce it, but this is an agency, a web design agency. And what's cool is that as you scroll down, you see how they have the same lights out effects. Before we start adding any sort of effects and getting crazy, the main thing is that whatever you add to your website, you want to make sure that it's adding to the feel of the website and not subtracting or distracting the prospect. Initially, I had the idea of doing it in this section right here, but I noticed that when I was doing that, because there was already too many colors and too many gradients and too much stuff going on, it was actually detracting from the website, which is why I decided to do it in this section section right here it has less colors which is kind of like what i saw on these other websites you see that they have those in sections where there's not too many images or too many colors you see that the different colors and graphics were further up on the page all right so i'm going to show you two different ways to do this effect let me just show you how to do this at the top of a website and then later on i will show you how to do it kind of like what i showed you here in the middle or at any point on the website what you're going to do first is you want to style this section to the color that you want it to be from the beginning so right now as i said i want to make it so that after i start scrolling the section will turn white uh but as i am up the section will be black first thing that i'm going to do is click on this right here then for the background color i want to make it so that it's this black right here of course the text right now is hard to see so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make it so that it's white so let me just do that here and then i'll do the same here as well so we're going to make it again so that this is black and as i start scrolling this section will turn white and the text will go back to black so it'll be like the opposite of what you see right now all right so now that i have styled the before we're going to go ahead and use some code to make it so that we sell it with the after if you already have my notion doc i've added a tutorial here how to change the color of a section based on scroll positions so that is what i'm going to use right now so i'll click this right here and i've added like a bunch of different examples there's three so for now we're, let's do the first one what you're going to do is copy this piece of code right here and then go all the way down here and right now don't worry about this if you've already added different effects you will have different things but if you were in a brand new website you wouldn't have this right here what i'm going to do is click here add a piece of code click this right here and then click open code editor and i'm going to paste this javascript right here we're going to hit save and then we'll go back to the top section make sure that we copy the css selector go all the way back down to that piece of code that we just added open the code editor replace this here just like this get rid of this and for now we're not going to change this scroll value but we will uh, later on depending on what we want to do so what we'll do is hit save and then we'll open the custom css right here if you don't have anything this will be blank in my case i have so i'm just going to open up some space for myself right here and then i'll go back to the notion doc go down to step two and i'll copy this css right here go back to high level and then paste this right here i'm gonna hit save and now i'll go again and select this uh css selector right here copy this right here open the custom css and then replace that here and also replace it here right now what we need to change is this and this and that's what you would have to change based on the colors of your website so right now i want to make it so that when i start scrolling the background color will be white and the text and everything else will be black so that's what i've done right now i'll hit save then i'll preview it right here as i start scrolling the section changes from black to white and the text changes from white to black 
you see that this sentence right here doesn't change color and I'm gonna show you why that is and how you can fix this on your website. Let me go back to high level and if you open the code right here, I've essentially made it so this custom class applies this color to header ones. If you take a look at this right here, this is a header one, this is a header one, but this is not a header one, this is a header two. So in order to make sure that we add the effect to this as well as we start scrolling, we'll open this right here. And it would be the same thing if you had a paragraph, uh, you just need to make sure what tag that text has. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is copy this here again, and then replace the H1 with H2 to make sure that we account for both types of text that we have in this section. I would hit save, and then I'm gonna preview this again, and then you'll see that the effect now works. So you see very beautifully as I start scrolling, the section changes to white and as I go back up, it changes back to black. So this is the first level and now I'm gonna show you how I did it so that you can do it not just at the top but anywhere in the section and make it so that you add the effect as the section comes into the screen and then remove it as you leave that section whether you're scrolling up or down the website, the effect will work. So let me go here back to high level and I wanna make it now so that the effect will work on this section right here. So first of all, what we'll do is I'm gonna get rid of this again. So you see how the effect works from scratch. So let me just get rid of all of this again and we're back to what we started. As I was mentioning, I wanna make it so that the effect will work on this section right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'll go all the way down to the bottom. I'll do kind of the same as what we did for the first for the first example. So we'll add a code element and then we'll open this right here. We'll go back to the notion doc. And in this case, we'll go to example two, change the section color based on when the section comes into the viewport. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna copy this piece of code right here. We're gonna go back to high level and then paste this right here. So in this case, we're making it so that we add the class not based on the scroll position, but based on when that section comes into the viewport. So of course we need to specify what section that is. So we'll hit save. And in this case, it is this section right here. I'll go to advanced, copy this right here, go back down here and then open the code editor, replace my section in this case. And then you can hit save. Now we just need to add the CSS in order to style it. So we'll open the CSS window right here. Let me just paste this here because I'm gonna need it later on. And I'll go back to Notion doc. And then again, I'll copy this piece of CSS and then paste it here. And then of course, replace the sections where it says your section with the actual section, which in this case would be this right here. Now, right now the section is white and the text is black. So we wanna make it so that when we scroll into that section, it will switch. So we need to edit the code as well. So we'll open this right here. And when we add the class dark, in this case, we'll make it so that the color or the background color is not white, but rather a black. So we could do zero, 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 or if we wanted to do just like an off black so that it's not absolute black, we could just do it so that it's one, one, one. One, one, one. And then for the actual text, we'll make it so that it's white. So we'll do FFF and then here FFF as well. We'll hit save and then we'll preview this so you see what that looks like. So now you see that I'm scrolling on the website. It looks very nice, very beautiful. Now you see that the section changes right here. The problem, there are just two problems. First of all, this is not changing color, which I show you how to do earlier in the video. But the other problem is that the effect is changing too soon. I would like it so that we would have more of that section in the viewport or in the screen and the display before it changes color. So that's what we're gonna change in the code. So let me go back to high level and we will go down here to the JavaScript and we can play around with this number right here. So in this case, it's, one, it's 0 0.1. So only 10% of the section has come into the viewport in order for this section to show. I wanna make it so that it's at least half. So I'll do 0 0.5, I'll hit save. And at the same time, you know that in this section, these ones are uh, header twos. So what I'm gonna do is again, as I did for the other effect, make sure that I add this for the H twos as well. So let me just do that here and change this here again, hit save. And now when I show you the preview, the effect will look smoothly. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm scrolling down here, you see the sections again the different features. And as I come to that section, you see that now, boom, the effect 
changes when the section is a lot more into the screen. So when you have to scroll a little bit more so that the transition looks a lot better. And you also see that as I scroll out, the section changes color as well. If you already have my Notion doc, I've added an example three and I explain a little bit more as to how this works. I have added a different video to make it so that in this case, you see that the effect is like a completely lights out change of color. In this video, I just show you for that specific section. So in the doc, I've added a video to make it so that it's completely lights out effect. If you don't have my Notion doc, you can click the link in the description, get your own copy. It's a resource that I've compiled as I build websites for my clients. And if you want to build better website for yourself, for your clients, make sure they stand out from the competition. You get more sales, you get more clients. Click the link in the description and get your own copy. With that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.